all around the place now. Preparations for students and parents going on all week long. We'll help you through this often tough and stressful time with some tips and advice from experts. NBC 10's Audrey Washington takes a look at back to school shopping in part one of your back to school survival guide. On your mark. We need sneakers. We need hand sanitizer. Get set. Pencils, erasers, markers, highlighters. Shop. The back-to-school shopping rat race is not for the faint at heart. There are pencils then, colored pencils, backpacks, lunch boxes, notebooks, loose-leaf paper. The list goes on and on. <laughs> I'm learning. Even though I have three children, I'm still learning because every year is a new adventure. And this year, parents will spend more on that new adventure. According to a recent National Retail Federation study, the average American family will spend more than $600 on clothes, shoes, supplies, and electronics compared to nearly $550 last year. And then you get roped in because things are on sale, and then you think, oh, this is a good deal, I'll buy extras. You always end up spending more than you plan. In addition to buying more, shoppers are also becoming more bargain savvy. According to the study, more families said they plan to comparative shop this year. Well, we get flyers, so I look, I look through those. But they tend to be pretty competitive with one another, the stores. So what's the best way to get everything on your child's list? Sharpeners and erasers. Sharpeners and erasers. Without breaking the bank? Well, experts say it's important to stay realistic. Buy the things your child needs rather than wants. You know, the kid would probably want to get a couple of lunch boxes, the different characters of lunch boxes, but the parents are coming in for, they're trying to stick as close to the list as they can while keeping the child happy. Tip number two. Buy multiple packs of things and uh, split up the packages. And tip number three, recycle from last year. They don't use their supplies from the year before. I try to move them on up. Some great ideas for busy parents looking to slow down and make back-to-school shopping stress-free. Just take a deep breath, look at your kids' faces, and know that they're getting a proper education. And some pretty cool supplies all at the same time. In Warwick, Audrey Washington, NBC10 News. All right, for a list of this year's hottest back-to-school items and to post your own back-to-school shopping tips, log on to turn to 10com and do a keyword search with the word education. Mark